All right? So in this example, we need to show that angle. Oh, I didn't even write down what the figure looked like. Um, So we have J, K, L, M, N. OK. So in this example, Dominic and Terrell, what I'm doing is they say that given. So remember, given, when we're doing a proof, we're going to use a two-column proof. We're always going to have statements and reasons. Now again, our statements are what are going to be all of our facts. What is everything that is going to make up our arguments that we know that we can say this is true, this is true, this is true, this is true. So therefore, guess what? Our conclusion of why things are true is going to be true. right? But we need to build up all of these facts. They can't be our opinion. They have to be, we have to be irrefutably know that they are true. So the easiest things to prove that are true are what information you've been given. So we have been given JM is congruent to NK. JM is congruent to uh, NK. So let's write it down. Because is that true? Yes. Why is it true? Because it's given to us. Now, unless the book is lying to us, well, that wouldn't really make too much sense. That information is given. JM, thank you. The next one, L is the midpoint. So we know L is the midpoint of JN and KM. That's given. Do you guys see how easy it is to take the truth that's given to us? We just need to set it up in a two-column proof and write it down. Now, what do we know? Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's where it gets a little difficult. Kevin, I really need you to focus on this one. This is where it gets difficult. Because now we've bypassed all the hard stuff. Now we're getting it, or the easy stuff. Now we need to get to the hard stuff of saying, OK, we got the easy stuff. Now we need to be able to show that my angle MJL is congruent to angle KNL. Now, the only way that I'm going to be able to do this as of right now of thinking of what we've learned so far is to prove that these two triangles are congruent. Now, there's a couple of information. If I know this is the midpoint, what does midpoint tell me about a line? If I know I have a midpoint of a line, what does that tell me? What does that midpoint do to that line? It cuts it in half. So if L is the midpoint of JN, can I now say that JL is congruent to NL? Would that make sense? If you have a midpoint, could you now say the two line segments that make up that segment are equal? Can you? Yes, of course you can. Why can you say that, though? Because, yes, it's the same length, but why do you know that? Are you, is that your opinion, or why do you know that's the same length? Yeah, but why is the midpoint, why when I say that's the midpoint, those two sides are equal? It is in the middle. But why do you know that it's so equal? Because it's the definition of a midpoint. Right? What I'm trying to tell you is that's not your opinion. You don't say, hey, just because there's a midpoint, these two sides are equal. Right? No. You were told that the midpoint is in the middle of a line. Therefore, it breaks it up into e two equal segments. You, therefore, you can also say ML is congruent to KL. Why are those two sides equal? Because the same thing. The definition of a midpoint. And I'm just going to abbreviate here real quick because we're running out of time. So that's the definition of a midpoint. All right? But we're not done yet. So ladies and gentlemen, oh, actually, we are done. So now we have congruent triangles, right? Can we say that these are now congruent triangles? We have side, side, side. So now we can say triangle, uh, let's call it J, L, M, 
is now congruent to N L K. Why are those congruent? Why am I saying that's true? Because they're side, side, side. But my proof, what does my proof say? Does my proof say to prove that those two triangles are congruent? No, it doesn't say that. So I'm not going to leave my proof there. My proof says prove angle MJL is congruent to measure of angle KNL. So MJL, so I want to prove that is congruent to N or KNL, to that angle. Now, if we have congruent triangles, does that mean all the angles are the same measure? No? Yes. If you have triangles that are congruent, yeah. that means, yeah, all their, all their congruent parts are equal. So now I can say angle MJL is congruent to angle KNL. Why? Because the definition of congruence. When you have triangles that are congruent, all the, e all the parts of those triangles are equal in measure or congruent. So that's the definition of congruence. And there you go. Guys, we're going to be working on a lot of these